This short tutorial will show you how to study parameter and certainty in Triage Pro models using one-way sensitivity analysis and tornado diagrams. We'll do sensitivity analysis on an example provided in Triage Pro. Specifically, we'll use the example model CE Decision Tree, which can be found in the Files view. The model is a simple decision tree set up to compare the new treatment versus the standard treatment via cost effectiveness analysis. In any model, we initially run base case analysis. These are the primary results that typically include cost effectiveness analysis to determine the optimal strategy. Deterministic sensitivity analysis is going to study how the base case results change as you vary individual parameters across a range. With any given parameters range, there may be a change in strategy referred to as the cost effectiveness threshold. Let's run one-way sensitivity analysis on a selected parameter. From the Triage Pro menu, choose Analysis sensitivity analysis, and then one way. This model is already set up with the variable P eradicate radiation and surgery that we want to study. You can only use variables defined numerically at the root node, and those ones are considered parameters to do sensitivity analysis on. We'll just use the default options, which are set there in this case with a low, high entry, and then 16 intervals. The model is a cohort model, so we don't need to check the box to run micro simulation. Then we run the analysis and review the primary output. The primary output shows 17 model recalculations for each value of the variable P eradicate radiation and surgery over the specified range. It's actually easier to interpret the results graphically. The net benefits graph shows the net monetary benefits for each strategy. We entered the willingness to pay and the interpolated threshold of P eradicate radiation and surgery is 0 0.749, where the net monetary benefit for the new strategy becomes greater than the standard treatment, indicating the cost effectiveness threshold. We can see the same results from the primary output. For the first few calculations, the new treatment is dominated and the standard treatment is optimal. From 0 0.75 onwards, the new treatment is optimal as the ISA has dropped below $50,000 willingness to pay. The net monetary benefit for the new treatment becomes greater than the standard treatment, also indicating a CE threshold. The parameter versus isograph also shows the CE threshold. The graph is going to appear complicated because there are a change in the effective strategy. This means there's a point where incremental effectiveness is zero. For that point, the ISA is undefined, represented by an asymptote to the graph. The threshold portion of the graph is still clear. When the parameter is 0 0.749, we have a cost effectiveness threshold. Tornado analysis runs multiple one-way sensitivity analysis, then combines those results into a single set of results. In the analysis menu, you choose sensitivity analysis, tornado. You'll see there are six variables selected for analysis, each with a range and intervals, the same options used for one-way sensitivity analysis. Again, only variables defined at the root node can be used. The tornado information shows options available for displaying tornado results. Information on the right-hand side changes dependent on the analysis we choose. Let's first consider the ISA tornado. We need to choose a pair of strategies for the ISA calculations. The graph shows a range of ISAs associated with the uncertainty range for each parameter. The parameters with the biggest impact on ISA are shown at the top. The top bar is for the variable P eradicate radiation, so it has the largest impact on the ISA. The blue portion of the bar represents the lower values of the uncertainty range, while the red portion represents higher values. With the blue on the left and the red on the right, the ISA increases as the parameter increases. The opposite is true for the next parameter down. For the top parameter, which is where the probability of the tumour is eradicated by radiation and surgery, you can see the cost effectiveness threshold at a value of 0 0.651 which is where the ISA crosses the willingness to pay threshold. You can click on the secondary links to the right of the graph to see the individual parameters impact on the ISA, as well as the cost effectiveness threshold. The cost of radiation parameter has no bar because that parameter has no impact on the ISA. And the bottom parameter has an infinite impact on the ISA because at some point the incremental effectiveness passes through zero. Given the infinite ISA range for the last parameter, it might be clearer to use the incremental net monetary benefit tornado. 
Since there is no denominator in the net benefits calculation, there is no infinite ranges. Choose the incremental net benefit option and then choose new treatment as a comparator and the standard treatment as the baseline and then click it to open the report. You can see the long bar for the P eradicate radiation and surgery parameter, which actually has the biggest impact on the incremental net monetary benefit. You can have a zero line by the option to the left to see clearly the three parameters with CE thresholds. Just like the ISA tornado, the blue and red portions of the bars represent the low and high values of the parameter range. Click on the secondary report links to see more details on the individual parameters. With the information about how uncertainty of different parameters impacts the optimal strategies, recommendations can be made from the model, or you can seek further information to update the model. If you need further step-by-step -step assistance, there are more details in the help files 